Okay, so I felt drawn to the um, Housewives Tarot today. I don't know why. Maybe the cards have a special message for someone out there with the images. But uh, anyway, this is for Friday, December 15th. What is it that we need to know? What do your guides, guardian angels, from my higher self to your higher self, what, what do you all need to know? Okay, so we have the star coming through reversed. Let me leave it upright so that you can see the image, but I'll give you the meaning. So maybe someone has lost hope a little bit. Let me bring this up. There we go. Lost a little bit of hope. Uh, maybe feeling a little uh, directionless. And then sometimes, too, uh, like the other day, I remember getting clearly that it had to do with like navigational devices and electric devices and all of those things. Yeah, and then we have the Seven of Cups reversed. Well, this is a really interesting rendition, isn't it? Which type of cocktail do we want today? <laughs> So maybe, you know, because I really do need to go with the artwork because I was drawn to this deck for the day. So now I'm thinking maybe somebody's just feeling a little down. And it might be because, uh, you know, there's been Christmas partying and or maybe um, trying out different types of holiday drinks. Like, I don't know. You know what? I don't, I don't want to actually name them because I don't want to, like, put it into your head and make you want it. But I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna let that go. And I'm wondering if these two cards have to do with drinking, and then you feel down because you know alcohol is a depressant, and you can get away with a little. But if it's more than, or if it's the hard stuff, mm, you got to be careful. You know, very limited amounts when it's the hard stuff. Okay. And then the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, darn it. Okay, so there's there's something going on. With the Five of Pentacles, we're in that realm of feeling rejected, feeling uh, down, just feeling like we don't have enough, not not seeing our own inner light. And it's, a you know, with, in this deck, you can see that there's the loss here of that one broken plate. And, you know, she doesn't like that at all. Uh, so, I feel like the message is kind of the same as it was a couple of days ago where it's really important not to, well, for today what I want to say is that it's, it's important to not feel like the whole day is wasted or the whole, um, you know, like like life is just bad, and life is just down, and life is uh, terrible. It's it, it's important to remember that we can turn things around. We just have to know that, you know, it's that reminder we're here on Earth School, and it's not easy. It it can be better if you go towards the things that bring you positive pleasure. I. Uh, you know, if you're like, let's say your body's just not feeling good, or you're you're just under the weather, or you're exhausted, uh, whether or not it had to do with drinking, or whether or not you know it has to do with feeling like you're you've lost your direction, I uh, go for what feels what makes you feel good that you know is healthy. So if you you know maybe it's something as simple as just getting in the shower, I. Uh, Anything that brings you pleasure in your physical body, and this is bringing in the Five of Pentacles here, that will help you. That will that will help you to reorient, and, and it could make you feel like there's a miracle. <laughs> like, it's a miracle. <laughs> I felt that way in the shower before, like, oh, God, the water, you know? Uh, or if you're fortunate enough to have a hot tub, take advantage of it. Or uh, if there's... Uh, you know, a, a swimming pool, 
anything like that, I think the water would help. And I, I'm saying that especially because of the Seven of Cups reversed. Now, when the Seven of Cups, uh, uh, on a traditional meaning, this is feeling like we're out of options. And in this card, you know, she's just looking at all these different drinks, and maybe the message is, is that, you know, none of them is really any good, you know, because it came through reversed. I'm leaving them upright so you can see the artwork. But traditional meanings with the, the star reversed uh, it has to do with losing faith, losing hope, not believing in yourself, uh, feeling depressed. But if you've been going through healing, if you've been going through a healing process where you're getting in touch with your real needs, and which are you know love and safety and comfort and connection, and then our creativity to be seen and heard and understood, if we've had, if we've had parents who, uh, you know, really did see us and really heard us and and made sure that we understood and they understood us, listened right. If we had that type of a connection. Those types of adults grow up, those types of kids grow up, and, and they're usually pretty creative. So if your creativity is feeling stifled, you can be sure that it's a parental issue that you're trying to heal. And it's really important to know that it, it, during our healing process, when, when we're not reaching out to numb out, uh, and we bring it back upon ourselves to go, wait, I can, find a, I can find a way to feel better then there's it's often we have little periods of depression it's normal it's super normal now i'm not talking about clinical depression i'm just talking about like feeling down and you might notice that when you drink you it does uh, bring you down so you find you have to find your limit or cut it out altogether i mean that's pretty much what i had to do um and then with this um oh, to get more into the um the Seven of Cups reversed, this, again, like I was saying, it's it's just feeling like we don't have as many options and we can't find our purpose. It's it also when this card comes through, it's it can be drugs. So it, it might not be alcohol. It could be any, any kind of a drug that's got you down. And it's uh, also feeling trapped. It's missing opportunities. It is um, sometimes very confusing when we have the Seven of Cups reversed. But the Five of Pentacles, again, that's our, we had that a couple days ago, and I remember that the message was clear, is that um, it's, it's just not a good idea to, um, well, bottom line is, mass consciousness on the planet, this is something that every human does, is that when things don't go well, they, uh, you know, each one of us, we feel like we've done something wrong or there's something wrong with us. You know, like here, here she is, she dropped a plate, and she's probably feeling like, oh no, I, well, how, how could I have done that? And so there's a lack of forgiveness and there's a lack of acceptance that life on earth is just so imperfect. And um, just because things don't go well, doesn't mean that you're inadequate. And if you've been dabbling a little bit in alcohol or drugs and you're finding out that it, you're just too sensitive, it's not it's not something you can handle. Or maybe you're helping someone else with, you know, the issues. Uh, there's a very real possibility that I um, this is just like that last um adventure into that realm because when you're trying to work your way out of uh, any type of an addiction it's really normal to relapse it, and and even when it comes to like abusive relationships the toxic relationships usually it takes eight nine who knows how many t dozens maybe uh, times going back and forth with the people involved or with the substances involved and, um, you know, I, I mean, it, it, you just, you work your way through it because you're spiraling in every time. And I'm, I'm noticing all the circular uh, images. So there's something in this one here. There's something about knowing that just because you did it again, so maybe maybe you maybe you woke up feeling terrible because you drank too much last night. I'm, I'm just this is just a hypothetical example. 
or maybe you took some, uh, oh my goodness, because we just went through the new moon. Maybe you used some uh, medication to help you go to sleep and, and you realize you woke up and you realize, oh crap, I can't even navigate. I can't handle that. Uh, well, at least now you know. And, um, you know, tons of water will always help. But, um, yeah, at least now you know. <laughs> Bottom line. I... Uh, because with the star reversed, it's important to not, like I was saying the other day, never reject yourself. To still, you know, keep believing in yourself. Don't lose faith in yourself. Don't ever lose hope, you know, with yourself. And know that it's just, it is temporary. Like the, these things, these experiences we go through, they're just temporary. And um, and and then also that you're... You, don't don't fall into that trap of thinking that you're not good enough or that you're just terrible or you know some people I mean who knows what tapes we have from our parents and our siblings growing up uh, and, and kids at school you know the, there's probably we've probably heard all kinds of crazy things and of course it's usually them projecting their own self-hatred onto others but it can be really painful when you're trying to heal the past and these old feelings and old tapes, old messages, old um, uh, patterns are coming up to clear. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to get this uploaded. You guys are going to have to let me know how you're feeling. Or maybe none of this applies to you guys at all and it's just a lesson in what the cards mean. <laughs> okay, take good care. Bye.